In 90 Day The Last Resort, things started off with Asuelu and Kalani having a therapy session with her sister Kalini, who isn't on good terms with Asuelu, and Kalani explained why. I think that my sister is a very kind person and gives everyone options and opportunities to like show her who they are. With Asuelu, it's been so many of him cheating on me throughout our relationship. I'd get so depressed and be so upset and I'd be crying and it was her that would have to help me get back to normal. Nobody else knew the truth. And it was like numerous times. Kalini got emotional talking about how hard it has been to see her sister hurt so many times in her relationship due to Asuelu cheating. Every time that I heard that Asuelu had cheated on my sister, just watching how much it hurt her was horrible for me. Being in a relationship is hard, but having that person that is supposed to love you and like be there for you and not hurt you, having that person be the one to hurt you and take advantage of your love is like the worst heartbreak. And for her to experience that over and over and over again, I wouldn't wish it on anybody, but especially my sister. Kalani also explained why she kept the cheating a secret for so long. So by the time I had figured things out, I was pregnant and I was already bringing him to America. So I just felt like I needed to suck it up and just hide it. I wanted him to get along with my dad and with my family members. So I just kept it hidden basically to protect him. I feel really sick to talk about what I did. I just like feel like a uh, ass. I feel like I don't deserve to be here, hurting my wife. She revealed just how many times he has been unfaithful and broke down in tears. So collectively, he's cheated like 10, 12 times. And hearing myself say that, I'm just disgusted with myself. Later, Asuelu admitted that everything they were accusing him of is true and attributed his behavior to how he grew up. I just hope they forgive what I did and everything they say is true. There's a lot of issues that I have. Mm -hmm. Because growing up, my parents didn't taught me. I just don't have all of this experience. And that is something that we've talked about culturally. Almost all of the men in Samoa think it's okay to cheat. The therapist shared she thinks Asuelu could have deeper issues. I suspect that Asuelu has a sexual addiction or a sexual compulsion because there's a pattern and there's a pattern that has lots of shame and secrecy, and he's increased his activity over the duration of their relationship. But he is taking responsibility. And that progress, I believe, is a small step in the right direction by him being able to see how selfish he was. As for Michael and Angela, they seem to be in a better place since their therapy session. And Angela put on a show for her man, showing off some swimsuits. How about this one? Mm. No, no. Wow! Um, it's see all your body. I mean, no, no. I can't let Angie wear salt bathing suit. It's too tempting. You know, you are my wife. It should be moderate. Yeah, I know I'm a Mima, but that I'm a sexy Mima. Let's not forget that. They later celebrated their anniversary, and even though they are long distance, they didn't let that bring them down. Happy anniversary of three years. I love it. Mm. Oh. oh, sexy Nigerians oh, back. Oh, 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 look at them hips. Oh, my God. You just, I'm in public. You just made my cooter tingle. <laughs> Ed and Liz are working on building trust, so he told her about the other guy's desire to go to a strip club. Something we need to work on is... Um, communication and trust. Yeah. So, something happened the other night when we were playing volleyball. Um, all the guys, they want to go to a strip club. 
they said you're not allowed to tell anybody, but, but. Wait, they're telling you not to tell me. Correct. I'm not gonna get in trouble with you, so I'm not going. So bottom line, I'm 57 years old. I don't need to be looking at I, I like your boobs a lot, so. I'm pissed right now. I'm trying not to like let my emotions get the best of me, especially since we just had a good moment, but I'm not, I'm not mad at you. His honesty seemed to really impress Liz. I feel like it's becoming all shady. So now yeah. like if I don't tell the girls and then I to blame, like now it's like a whole situation. I'm gonna tell the guys, I'm gonna say, look, I'm sorry guys, I'm here for a recommitment not to lie to my, my bride, my future bride. Are we really working on our right now? <laughs> You're in my trust. Okay, good. Molly and Kelly seem to be done with their relationship and they spoke with a therapist about how it feels for them to call it quits. There may have been some moments that weren't great, but I felt like I gave him a lot of me. Look, I done cried so many times. I done shared how I felt. I done expressed how I felt. At this point, I'm numb. I just, you know, want you to know that I'm sorry for whatever it was that you needed from me that I didn't give you. She apologized and wanted them to leave each other on good terms. I just wanted to come and tell you I'm sorry. Sorry? I mean, I don't want you to be angry and I don't want you to hate me and I don't want us to... I don't hate you. I'm not going to... No, I just... It is what it is. Learn. You okay? I will be. Kelly left the resort and the pair reflected on their relationship coming to an end. Whoever I end up with, she's just going to take me for who I am. Just being me. I really truly thought that he was my person. Losing love, I think it's the hardest thing in the world. <laughs> it's very hard. I'm hurt, disappointed, but I gotta move on. Can't make a relationship what it's not. <laughs>